Hi, this is Hanamei Apeliado and I am an EDC Syndrome Survivor. Exactly 17 years ago, I was a jolly kid. Like others, but sometimes due to cough, we usually went to a hospital, and all we knew it was just an asthma or I just a cough. I was a student at Bethlehem Daycare Center, which was founded by Father John Yakuno. We went to the nearest hospital with Father John for me to have a they told they was told by the doctor that I needed immediate open heart surgery or operation or I just only have weeks to live. Father John, my family and the BDCC staff and the Australians was with me during the open heart surgery. During the operation I dreamed I was in a white room with two people that standing in front of me with us. I can see, I can't see their faces. I can only see the bright light covered their face. Kuya Bitoy or Beethoven Awit was my blood donor during the operation. November 8, 2005 was the most memorable day of my life. I received the most precious gift that is my second life. Seventeen years later, I am actively living my life. I was diagnosed having LS1 Travel Syndrome. EVC Syndrome, sometimes called chondroectodermal dysplasia. EVC Syndrome is a genetic condition thought to be caused by a change in the genes involved in the development of the heart and the limbs. Leading to a features of a long torso, short limbs, congenital heart disease, dental abnormalities, and polydactyly or extra fingers. In EVC syndrome, about 50% may die in early infancy due to complications of the heart and lungs. In humans and other mammals, the heart is divided into four chambers. But in my case, my heart don't have a divider. Cardiac surgery was done at 5 years of age. Before the operation, hospital room is my best friend while doctor sending syringe was my enemies. Dental problems are frequent and well described in many articles. At the young age, I wore dentures. That's not the end of my medication. As a kid, I played outdoor games, then ortho doctor noticed my knockknees, having knee clip would correct my knockknees. 2010 got my knee clip. Thank you to the people behind my smiles. Rare patients made me feel that I'm not alone. And I salute.
salute the parents of PSOD for fighting with us. Surviving for 18 years and counting is not hard. Why? Because I have my doctor, family, friends, and strangers who help me. Well, yes, I have an EVC and that's not a hindrance to enjoy life. To all people out there, always remember, don't waste your life. Life is very precious. Your appearance is not hindrance for reaching your dreams. Make it an inspiration. Approximately 150 cases reported worldwide. Amazingly, I am the only one survivor here in the Philippines reported. My case is still ongoing study to all doctors and med students. Life blessed me many times. I had faced so much challenges. They're trying to destroy me, but having my family, friends, the people who loves me, keeps me going on. To those people facing silent battles, just pray to God. As San Pio said, pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful. And we'll hear your prayer. Again, this is Hannah May Apilledo, an LS1 Travel Syndrome survivor. Happy 17th anniversary open heart surgery. <laughs> This is 